our greetings. About the guys to my Pan African brothers and sisters, Alito to my uh, Aboriginal brothers and sisters, Islam to my Moorish brothers and sisters, Shalom Aleikum to my Hebrew brothers and sisters, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to my Muslim brothers and sisters. And to everybody else, peace be on to you. I said, I am Imam Halim Mustafa al Bey of a Moorish Awakening. And my group is. Indigenous Muslim American Moorish Society. Uh, I know it's been a while since uh, I've been on here. Uh, my equipment has been down. And of course, without uh, you know much support, it's, it's very difficult. Uh, but however, you know, inshallah, this is God willing, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm back at least for another episode. Um, just wanted to, um, you know, um, to let you know that, you know, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Um, I'm still um, doing my homeschool. We're about to complete uh, the 2023-24 school year. And I'm still you know, volunteering at the at the prison now. I'm going uh, Wednesdays and Fridays. Wednesdays for Talim. Talim is it means the sharing of knowledge, which I'm teaching, and the uh, Juma, which is uh, our prayer service, our Friday prayer service, which is the preaching. Yeah, I come from a family of preachers and teachers, <laughs> so I'd like to say. Um, Basically, uh, to reiterate, in terms of Moorish Awakening, uh, Moorish Awakening has been, you know, as um, an effort of mine from 2017. Moorish Awakening is an event. It's an event that uh, to wake up to the fact that I'm a Moor, not an African American or or an African or black or or colored or Negro. You know, those are colonial terms that's been given to us to keep us under the colonial thumb. Uh, more is a term of liberation. A lot of people don't understand that. And liberation doesn't mean, um, you know, go out and rebel and, and you know, um, and act some, you know, act of war or something. I said, liberation is reclamation. Now, people talk about reparations and they said, no, we have to never, you know, we need reparations. Reparations is never. We're never going to get reparations. Uh, reparations is uh, where the government is giving you a check, uh, much like some of the uh, the uh, fairly recognized tribes. Uh, you know, they're getting a paycheck from the government because the government stole their land. Uh, it's not doing anything for the for the people. Uh, most reservations are, are, you know, areas where there's a lack of law enforcement, a lack of resources, and uh, many, many problems. And much, you know, the the actual, uh, the majority of the Aboriginal nations, uh, or us, you know, much much like we had, uh, what we you call the ghettos, uh, in, in our poor areas. Um, there's a lot of us that are well to do, a lot of us that have, have, uh, you know, funding that are rich. But, but you know, like one person said that Shaq's, Shaq is rich, but the the person that owns Shaq's team, you know, because when Shaq, Shaq was playing, is wealthy. Um, so a lot of us have money, but actually have don't have the wealth. I mean, wealth is is the re is having control over the resources. So what we need as a people is called restoration. Restoration is uh, restoring us to the status as the owners of the land. I said we are descended from the Aboriginal people. 
and this and this is of the America, uh, of America. United States is not America. The United States is under control of only part of America, and within the borders. But America is the landmass that extends from the North Pole all the way to the South Pole, right? The North Pole to, 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 to the uh, north of basically, you know, Canada, Alaska, um, yeah, the Arctic Circle going down to the tip of, you know, Argentina, Chile, uh, tip of South America, um, which, if you look on the map, it seems like there are a, a few islands in between um, South America and Antarctica. So it looked like they were they were one time joint. So I say from the North Pole to the South Pole, in the Western Hemisphere is America. So we, we can't get to the confused. When I say I'm an American, more. You know, not an African American. My my family was born here. I was born here, uh, and my family was born here. We're going to trace my ancestry back at least five to seven generations, and everybody was born here. Um, it's not to say I don't have any African ancestors, and I can tell people I may have an African ancestor, but that's not guaranteed. Me being a dark-skinned person, I'm a dark-skinned because I'm a Moor. Uh, the word more is, is, is been referred to, dark skinned people traditionally have been referred to as Moors. You know, that was up until the in, you know, invention of the New World Order, born by the, the voice of Columbus and the subsequent voices of, of the uh, so called uh, European invaders uh, to our land. Uh, this was at the fall of the Moorish Empire in Spain in Portugal. Um, you know, I have Portuguese ancestry on my mother's side, and the Portuguese were, were Moors. You know, they have a famous uh, picture of Lisbon, and the vast majority of people are, were dark-skinned people. So I'm dark-skinned because I'm a Moor. You know, even though the Moors that went into Spain in 7-Eleven came out of what we now call Africa, that, that that was not called Africa back then. That was not the name of the land. But they came out of, you see the whole piece that's, 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 that's uh, pushed out there of Africa that comes out, you know, to, up to the Atlantic, uh, that North and West African uh, coast. Uh, it was called Martinia, land of the Moors. You know, Morocco didn't even exist until about 1299. All right, this was about roughly almost 200 years uh, before, you know, uh, you know, we lost Spain. We lost Andalus, we called it. So, you know, to say that we're Moors because we're Moroccans is incorrect. To say that we're Moors because of Moabites is incorrect because Moors came before Moabites or Moroccans. They were already Moors. Moors uh, come from Mu. Mu is the first civilization. And when we manifested here on Earth in this third dimension, uh, that process was Mu, materialization. Mu means mother. So mother has everything to do with materializing. You know, and pater means father. And people say the heavenly father our soul comes from the heavens and our body comes from the earth. And you say, well, how can you prove that? Why? You can prove that by saying, by looking at the fact when you die. When you die, your body goes back to the ground. Right? Your soul is gone. It's gone to the heavens. You know, the heavens in, in the Quranic concept of heaven is not uh, what the Christian concept of heaven they say, well, you know, you die and go to heaven. And I said, when we say going to the heavens is the sky, you're looking at the heavens every time you look up in the sky. That's the heavens. You know, they call the, they call the, uh, they call it the, uh, you know, 
all the stars and the planets and stuff, the heavenly bodies. So the heavenly father, father means pattern. You know, the Quran says um, that Allah says that, that what's in you and what's in the, uh, what is in you, the signs that's in you and throughout the universe. And just like the sun goes around, you know, the, the planet goes around the sun, I said you have atoms and electrons that go around the, the, the nucleus, you have electrons that go around the nucleus. It's the same thing. You know, everything is, 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 is you know, uh, one of my cousins shared on Facebook a cell that was uh, blown up, you know, like a hundred thousand times. And that's what it showed. It showed the shit. It showed the, the entire universe within us. You know, we're, that proves that we're part of the universe. We're part of it from the universe. So we go back to the universe, our souls. It goes back to where, where, it, where it came from. And this is where Allah says in the Quran that the heavens and earth were once joined. So we are, we are basically, excuse me, our being is the heavens and earth that are joined. And then it becomes separated when we die. So basically, um, you see that there, there's there's a lot to 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 be taught. There's a lot uh, to know of, because Islam just means submission to the will of Allah. All right, it means one who's at peace. Salam means peace. In Muslim, Mus. Salam, Muslim. It's one who is at peace. You know, Mut mean one. Like for example, my name is Mustafa. Mustafa means means uh, chosen. So Mustafa means one who is chosen. You know, one who. Like Amanu is to believe. Muh Min means one who believes. Mu'min is one who believes. One who. So we understand that that's attached to the word mu. Mu is identifying you as a person. Mu. And so we have the word mu'r. comes from the word mu. Mu is the first civilization. So the first people on the planet were mu'rs. All right? The first people on the planet were dark-skinned people. You know, the, the, the pale skin. everybody comes from us. You know, we were the first, and everybody comes from us. You know, a dark-skinned person, brown eyes, thick lips, broad nose, uh, could have, you know, coarse hair. You know, two parents get together, with the still same features, and they can have a blue-eyed, blonde, blonde hair, thin nose, thin lip child, and you see that all over, over the internet. So definitely, you know, people who are uh, pale skin are related to us. You know, but be every, all the all the genes of, of the what they call the dominant genes, um, scientifically. You know, can express all the dominant genes, all the jumps, and, and and other the other gene characteristics that are has characteristics of recessiveness. So we could produce that all. When I say we we as original human beings, we could produce that all. The original human being comes from the cosmos. You know, in the ether, and then we manifest here on Earth. So what they would call more science, science means to know. And that's the knowledge of the original um, the original science of, of how to live on earth. You know, our relationship to our Lord, our relationship to the universe, our relationship with our surroundings, our relationship to one another, our relationship to, 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 to uh, other beings, you know, whether they be angels, jinns, animals, you know, um, plants, trees, you know, basically to our Mother Earth, 
Our Earth is, is a melanated planet that we resemble our mother. So, um, basically, I, I wanted to uh, return again and have some uh, have some more episodes, more discussions, have some more episodes. I said, you know, of course, if you would like the video, um, you know, put a like, um, leave a comment. Uh, I do have a Patreon account still. Um, you know, it's not active. Um, I, I, you know, before when I first advertised my Patreon account, it was it was a uh, it wasn't it, I, I didn't really have it set up. Um, now now it is set up. However, of course. Um, I'm, I'm, I admit I'm not as skilled as, as a lot of other people who have, uh, you know, these videos and these programs and these shows. Um, I'm, I'm not a person that's, that has, I would say, that had the gift of gab. Um, any person, personally, I, I talk because I need to talk. Um, I'm like a quiet guy. Quiet and shy, I'm Aquarius. Very quiet and shy people. Very, very... Um, people that think very, very deeply. Um, so, um, all my life I've been a, a type of a, basically a, a, a quiet guy. Um, but when I need to talk and I need to say something, and, and I'm, I'm gonna say it. And so basically, um, the pursuit of truth. When you pursue the truth, um, you gotta kind of fight through and, and, and and fight off like dogmatism. Dogmatism is actually believing things and if someone comes with better information, um, that information is rejected by a dogmatic person. So I say I'm not a dogmatic Muslim. I, I, try, I try not to be a dogmatic person. I'm open to information if the information is, is correct and a lot of information I came across. And even some information I thought was correct uh, may have been wrong. Um, I spent 43 years as a Pan-Africanist and believing that Africa was the motherland, uh, believing that, that um, you know, I was an, I, you know, it's an African, African-American. Uh, the truth of the matter is that my, black, my dad told me, uh, uh, you know, we we're Blackfoot, okay? Um, the only thing that, that, that my dad's people ever told me, cousins, uh, things like that, they, they've always talked about our Aboriginal American heritage. And come to find out, because uh, my cousins told me that my uh, great great grandmother, which was my um, dad's maternal side, my, my, my grandmother on my dad's side, uh, her mother, her mother's mother, which is my grandmother's grandmother, was a full-blooded Cherokee. And um, my so definitely Cherokee Blackfoot heritage on my dad's side, my dad paternal side. Uh, I told uh, one time uh, when I was still in Baltimore, and and I had an elder. Um, you know, he used to take me home. A co-worker was an elder. And he told me that, I told him my, my family last name. You know, my dad's, you know, family last name. And he said that that's the last name that the, the Indians had to be forced to take. That their names were anglicized. So, you know, when I, when I moved down here to North Carolina, I was able to go to the library and looked at, they have books in terms of the Indian names. And lo and behold, Green was one of them. And it turns out that, according to uh, Jack Forbes, in his book, uh, uh, I think it's Africans and Native Americans, that he said that the chalk, the chalk because before this, uh, I, I mean, I have the book, but even before I got the information that I saw on the uh, Dawes uh, list, the Dawes roll, 
Now, the, no, no mistake with the Dawes Act. The Dawes Act came in 1887. And a lot of people don't talk about the Dawes Act. I'm going to talk about the Dawes Act probably in another video. But the Dawes Road that came out in 1893, a lot of people had to take on, they, they didn't, a lot of the, the Indians didn't have names. You know, so-called Indians, they didn't have names. They didn't have, they may, they may have first name, they may have a, a, a nickname or something like that. So they gave them names. You know, they gave them surnames. Uh, one of the surnames that the Choctaw had, you know, um, was Green. And that's what's my family's name. And um, I saw on the Dawes Roll, my dad's oldest brother's name. You know, it wasn't my dad's oldest brother because the person was born in 1867. All right? So, but it was the same name. And and so I was like, you know, that's interesting. And then he was listed as a 100% Choctaw. 100% Choctaw. All right, the Choctaw had to take on that name. And, 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 um, so the Choctaw had to take on that name. So, um, in Jack Ford's book, he said that the Choctaw, uh, was sold into slavery in South Carolina. All right. So my granddad, my, patern my, my, my maternal grandfather and my maternal grandmother were born in South Carolina. Okay. So, inshallah, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this right here. Uh, you know that, that uh, I count everybody as my ancestors, including Africans, Arabs, um, you know, even even the, the original Europeans and everything. It comes up my ancestors because once you go back in time, you know, um, if, uh, think about uh, what did they say? About five generations or so. Um, was it five or fifteen generations? Well, anyway, you go back. I think I think you know quite a bit of generations ago. You had like over a hundred thousand ancestors. So I mean, they could have been from anywhere, really. You know, but basically my ancestry is from here. American. American. The Aboriginal. Copper colored. You know, race is found here by the Europeans. In 1820, it says. And now refer to the descendants of the Europeans. 1828 edition of Webster's Dictionary. <clears throat> The uh, the 1937 Western Universal Dictionary says, American, the Aboriginal, various copper-colored people found here by the Europeans. The proper application of the name. Okay, so they know. Right away, who is the the thing, the copper colored? I said my my skin tone is copper colored. It's it's a dark copper colored skin tone. I said with that, um, I've been everybody uh, but well for now. Uh, peace be on to you and to my Muslim brothers. Says Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.